Hello and welcome. Today we're working on the maker's depreciation. So if you're new, my name is Jeff from Finally Learn. We're working our way through the financial accounting chapter. So one of the depreciation methods, straight line, double declining balance. And so we contrast that with the maker's method. I've got a playlist. I've got articles, videos. So this is helpful if you're trying to learn financial accounting. So maker's stands for the modified accelerated cost recovery system. That's why we call it makers. So makers is the US tax method. It assumes a half year convention and you see the word, uh, the phrase half year convention. All that means is the first year is six months. So they can't say, hey, we assume six months. They say, oh, this is the half year convention. It approximates double declining balance. Uh, the IRS tables that are given adds up to be 100%. So you don't have to do the adjustment that you have to do with uh, double declining balance. The IRS provides the table, it's easy to look up, and it assumes no salvage value because we want maximum depreciation, we want tax savings, so this is important. We don't want to have any salvage value. So here is a list of uh, a complete three year, five year, seven. There's also a 10 year, 15, and there's some other ones, and I just showed the first, say, seven years. It continues for 11 years for a 10 year asset, and. 16 years for 15 year assets um, because we assume the first year is a half year so year one is half year and then full year full year and then half year that gives you the three years so it spills into four calendar years so a three-year asset is over four calendar years a five-year asset is over six calendar years a seven-year asset you get it it's over eight calendar years so let's do a problem where we have a um, equipment that cost us one million dollars and we're going to do the useful life um, of three years and the useful life of five now we don't really have this choice the irs would tell us uh, this is a three-year asset this is a five-year asset but let me just show you how the math works let's assume a three-year asset and then let's change the assumption make it a five-year asset so i just have copied the percentages down and i've added this up to show that it equals 100%, added this up to show that it equals 100%. So all we have to do, super simple with the makers, we take the 1 million and we'll make it absolute. And the way you make it absolute is using the F4, the, the F4 button, and you put dollar sign because that locks that $1 million, that's called an absolute address, times the 33%. And then I'm going to copy that down and we can copy this all the way down. We're not going to get anything. We multiply times a blank. And so we want to sum this up. If we do a sum here, we have a sum of the total of this column. That's 1 million. So you see with the first year is a half year and then we get a full year and then uh, the balance goes down. This is essentially double declining balance. So the very first two years, you depreciate 777,000. You depreciate 77% of the 1 million. So that's what uh, an accelerated method like Makers does or double declining balance. Now over five years, it's not quite as dramatic. We do the same thing. We do the 1 million and let's lock it into place with an absolute address times the 20%. That's gonna be 200,000 and then all the way down And so let's make sure that our total is a million. So our total is a million. So the sum of all those we can see is a million. So makers is really easy. So um, you don't memorize the, the percentages. You have to be given makers table, a three year, five year, seven year, 10 year or whatever. And so that's how you do makers and it approximates double declining balance. Thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe and please comment. Your comments are really helpful because I'll answer those questions and that gives me ideas for new videos. Hey, appreciate it. Good luck in accounting.